it's that time of year. You want to give the gift of 3D printing to a kid you know, but you don't know anything about 3D printing. I am here to help. I have seen lots of 3D printers and I have picked out five and one of them would be perfect for your kid. All right, before we get started, how about some introductions? Because you're probably wondering who I am and why you should pay any attention to me when I'm giving you advice about 3D printers and kids. I mean, what do I know about 3D printing and kids? So to start off, I am a 3D printing reviewer over at Tom's Hardware, which is a consumer electronics website. They've been around for ages. Everything that I'm going to recommend or not recommend has been reviewed over there and I'll put the links down below so you can check out all the stats and everything. Second, I'm a mom. I'm a Gen X mom with Gen Z kids. So I've been through everything from Cub Scouts to college. And when I say that a printer is good for a six-year-old, I know because I've seen six-year-olds trying to do stuff. And I also know that a teenager would get bored mindlessly with this printer. Maybe never. First up, the obvious, the Toy Box 3D printer. This was designed just for young kids, and it's like an easy bake oven of 3D printers. It's built like a tiny tank, meaning it's got a sturdy metal frame that could survive the klutziest kid. But the build volume is only 70 by 80 millimeters, which is right around three inches square. The good thing is it's super simple to use because everything is done from the Toy Box website, which is isolated from the internet at large. You can use a computer or even your phone to run the toy box. Kids pick from a library full of parent approved models and send them straight to the printer. Slicing is done automatically. I can get deeper into the pros and cons in another video, but this printer is a perfect starter to introduce elementary age kids to 3D printing. Next up is the AOC X Maker. The X Maker is good for elementary kids, but it has more room to grow with your child. It's a fully functional 3D printer with kid-friendly software and an easy to understand interface. Like the toy box, kids don't need to roam the internet for files. It has a custom suite of software to make your own toys. You get two slicers with this one, a basic slicer for beginners and a full slicer for advanced users or grown-ups. The build volume is a little bit bigger. It's 150 by 150 by 150 millimeters, which is almost six inches cubed. Now the rest of my choices are beginner friendly printers that weren't made for kids, but are really easy to use. Bamboo and Prusa both have really good mini printers. These are great for older kids that understand the technology, know how to run a slicer and are ready for a grown up printer, but they don't cost you grown up prices. They're also smaller in size. They both have a seven inch build plate so they can be put away in a closet when not used. But don't worry, there's plenty of free models out there, but you might need to help younger kids find the good stuff. The Bamboo A1 Mini can be upgraded to print in four colors with an optional AMS, which is more for advanced users or maybe for a printer that's used by the whole family. Before we get to the next two printers, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. And if you're enjoying this, tap the like button. It really helps out. Thanks. Finally, full size printers. Full-size printers have a build volume around eight and a half inches wide and are probably too big to be kept in most kids' rooms without a special table or desk. Again, these are for kids who are ready for a grown-up printer and understand the technology and the maintenance needs of a standard 3D printer. The AnchorMake M5C is a fast printer that runs off your phone, which should be particularly appealing to teens. It also makes it a little bit harder to share, but don't worry, it can also be controlled by a computer because it will need to be hooked to your house Wi-Fi in order to send it files. The AnchorMix Slicer has an easy mode that works really well for kids who just want to hit that print button. Creality is the king of the beginner printer, and this year they've released a really good one with the Ender 3 V3SE. It's easy to use and pretty simple to put together. It's not made specifically for kids, but a tech-savvy middle schooler will have this one figured out in no time at all. You'll need to use a regular slicer and surf the web for models. But best of all, the Ender 3 V3 SE is right around 200 bucks, making it the most affordable printer on my list. The last printer I want to talk about is the one to avoid, the $99 Ender at Micro Center. 
Now, I love to shop at Micro Center, and if you're building out a print farm, a $99 Ender might hit the mark. But these printers are cheap because they're older stock. Three years old, in fact, because this year's $99 Ender is the Ender 3 V2. A nice machine, but when compared to the current budget Ender, it's a tough one to build, level, and even set the Z height. But if you can't resist a deal, do me a favor and go watch my friend Brian's video on how to put the little sucker together. You'll thank me later.